it's amazing weather right now and i'm out on another ride probably my fifth ride with a scooter so far it's been a lot of fun um my first scooter and i didn't realize how much fun this is to have to ride around i probably put around 50 kilometers on it but i'm not sure since the odometer on this scooter doesn't work i'll go into more of that later uh, in terms of acceleration it's pretty quick it's my first scooter so i i didn't have reference on how fast they normally go but it's pretty fast it is speed speed limited to 25 kilometers an hour or around 15 miles per hour but what's kind of strange is that right off the launch it will go up to up to around 18 miles per hour if on flat land and it'll hold it on to around two seconds before the speed limit kicks in so it kind of shows that there's more power to go faster but the speed limit kicks in um i wish there was a way to disable that because it obviously obviously can go faster than 15 miles per hour or 25 km an hour but it's limited also when going downhill i feel the speed limit is kicking in while going downhill as well which is really annoying do you feel that when you hit the throttle when you go downhill it basically does nothing because it's not giving any more torque to the wheels when going uphill it will also hold the speed at 15 miles per hour or 25 kilometers an hour going uphill and i feel that the extra torque in reserve do, do kick in when going uphill which is nice but again it's still annoying that when going downhill speed limiter is still there another thing i don't like about the throttle is that there is like a delay in the throttle so if you're going around 10 miles an hour um i can't convert it right now in my mind i don't know how to convert it exactly probably around uh 16 kilometers an hour and you go full throttle there's usually around a two or three second delay before you start feeling a surge of torque pulling you forward that's also like when going uphill there's always like a small surge the brakes after adjustment it's really strong it easily locks up the rear brakes so you gotta lean back quite a bit to not lock it up if you're braking hard uh the, the electronic brakes also kick in and they do seem to work fairly well but it's mostly from the back. Ride quality is decent. I don't have a reference on any other extra scooters, but I can feel the suspension working. Tires have decent grip. I've taken it on some gravel trails and they handle fine, no punctures yet. I did put a little bit of slime inside, so hopefully it doesn't um, puncture. In terms of range, I've gone around 22 miles and with one bar left, but this depends on your weight and where you're riding. I weigh around 130 pounds, so I'm, I guess I'm fairly light. The range will vary depending on, you know, again, how much you weigh and where you ride. I was mostly riding in flat, flat ground, so. That went back to the odometer issue I was having. Every time I turn off the scooter, the odometer here, it's kind of hard to see right now really sunny but it shows zero so every time i turn it off it resets back to zero and that value should be maintained since that value is the total distance the scooter has traveled um that's not the only issue i have with electronics with the app i'm using an iphone and on the ios app you can detect the scooter via bluetooth and the blue icon on the display shows up that's connected but any any controls you do to it does nothing so I couldn't control any of the settings for the scooter and that's why it, everything shows in my mouth. So this video might be all over the place but I, I guess I haven't really talked as much about the ride quality itself and durability. I don't have much video footage of me riding I don't have, since I don't have a action camera or easy way to record myself riding it. I mean mainly riding around the city on bike path and trails. I also went off-roading with it because why not? So far, nothing seems to be broken yet, uh, besides it being very dirty. It is some pretty big potholes in the city, and the suspension did bottom out, but nothing is broken. So I'm going to do a quick summary of the pros and cons I have so far of this scooter. Uh, pros, it's fun to ride. I guess that's subjective, but so far it's fun to ride. Nothing broke. Fairly quick, besides the limiter. If the limiter wasn't there, it would be so much better. Um, brakes are good range for me at least 
it's been good. I've gotten up to 35 kilometers or 22 miles with one bar left, but that depends on your weight and the terrain you're riding on. The suspension is also a huge pro. I, I feel on medium side to small bumps and mainly bumps that are not like potholes, something that's smoother. You can really feel the suspension working and making the ride a lot more comfortable. The cons are mainly into the electronics where the odometer doesn't work. The app does nothing in my case where I can't control any of the features even though it's connected apparently. Uh, and I guess I mentioned this a lot but speed limiter is a big con for me. You can feel the scooter having more torque to be used but it's just being, being held back with the suspension. It would be nice if there were some bump stops in them. Maybe like a piece of rubber that prevents metal, metal or plastic and plastic binding when it bottoms out. On my first ride, I was going down a road that just being covered with water to reduce dust. And these fenders, they look like they work, but they don't. The back of my pants, the back of my shirt were covered in mud. Um, if these fenders are a little bit longer, they will actually cover um, the mud and stuff coming up, but as is, they don't do much, even though they do cover most of the tire, but the part that does count is not covered. So I'm going to figure out some kind of solution to add a extender to the rear fender and I guess front fender as well. Um, it was splashing up from the front fender as well. Another con I forgot to mention before was the instability when taking a hand off the handlebar. If you take one hand off the handlebar to signal when you're turning or whatever you want to do, there's a lot of shaking and vibrations in the handlebar. Maybe this is due to some of the free play in there. You can't really notice it because of the small amount or the wheels not being pretty balanced, but it does shake a lot. And this makes making signals for turns a tough job because it's just shaking a bunch. And this is on smooth pavement. If there's bumps, I just don't signal anymore because it shakes too much. And I know that's, that's not safe and, and all, but I'm gonna fall scooter if I take one hand off because how much it shakes overall. After around probably 50, 50, 60 kilometers, I'm having a lot of fun with it and I'll make sure to ride it even more and give you my further thoughts later on. What I recommend it right now, to be honest, I'm not very sure. Just because of the electronic issues, it's kind of hard to recommend it when some of the features you want to use, like just basic features like changing the units on the display can't be done right now. It's, it's a maybe. If that doesn't bother you too much, sure. And maybe I'm just, I got a bad model that has electrical issues. So that that's not guaranteed for everyone.